Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Well, hello there, barbecue friends. Today, I got some new accessories for the kettle grill. Now, this is a 22 inch Napoleon Grills kettle grill. Now, the accessories I bought says it fits all 22 inch grills. So if you have a Weber or another design, it should fit on that. This only fire accessory kit fits between the bottom and the lid of the barbecue. It has an access door for a pizza oven and it comes with a rotisserie kit. So let's unbox what I got here and we'll go through it together. That must be for the pizza oven. Pizza stone. Here's the ring here. Now the moment of truth, let's see if it fits on the barbecue. Perfect fit. Nice and tight right on the rim. So for today's cook, I want to try the rotisserie attachment. So I'm going to start off by putting this front door on. Teardrop shaped holes here, so flip them over the bolts. There we go. Put some charcoal in. We'll just do a bit of a burn off before we do a cooking it. So I'm going to use my offset basket here. We'll rotate this. So the rotisserie is going to be right in the center here. Half the chicken is going to be over the fire and half off here. So we'll see how that works out. Going to use one of our instant fire fire starters. Our basket on there. There we go. We'll let that... We'll let this light up, let this fully engage, then we'll dump our coals in our offset basket here. There, I just unboxed the rest of the kit here. Of course, we got some handles, got a thermometer, some brackets, the rotisserie kit here, our pizza stone, our handle for our pizza shovel there, and of course our rotisserie motor. There, I moved my hot charcoal off of here for now. I, I realize I need to put a couple things on here. This mounting bracket would go on there. And you got two bolt holes here. Put our thermometer in. There, now I'll just tighten everything up. Get our handle here for our rotisserie. Now our motor's gonna slip on here. Our rotisserie's gonna come in like this. Now, in order for this, got a little bearing here you put on the shaft so I got this end of the shaft in the motor if I come across here's this little bearing here you tighten this onto the shaft this will that to rotate but it'll also prevent the shaft from coming out of the motor okay we're gonna dump our hot coals in here Put our lid on there. So this is how it looks. Got our little temperature gauge there, a pizza oven door. There's our handles. It's got this little flap you could close here when you're not using a rotisserie. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now because we're gonna be putting that in. 
I'd say that's pretty cool looking. So I got all these parts washed. Here's our chicken. I got a couple of pieces of cotton string here in case we gotta tie up the loose ends. We're gonna be seasoning this with Barbecue Pit Boys poultry seasoning. We need to be yet, but I'll just tighten it on there. We can always uh, move it over the flame after. Nestle them in there like that. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is tie these two legs together and these wings too when they start to cook. I don't want them breaking off. So we're just gonna tie this around like that. Should be good like that. There, now we'll just wait for the grill. We're gonna go ahead and damper back this, this here. Just show a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and get that chicken on. Slide that in there. There we are. Turn our rotisserie on. There we go. You can see I got the chicken just slightly over the coals here, but just offset more or less. So we'll put our lid back on. There we are. Put our lid back on. So I'm going to put a thermometer in this chicken. So because it's a rotisserie, I could use a wireless meter probe thermometer. So we'll get that in there. Okay, I'll insert this into the breast of the chicken. There we go. Cover on. And we'll monitor our progress here on the phone. This way we don't have to open the lid. This chicken's been on for 25 minutes now. I'm still learning how to use this app with this meter probe. But so far it's working pretty good. It says I got 12 minutes left on the cook until I reach my target temperature. The ambient temperature in there is 436 degrees. And a lot of information, I don't have to open the lid. We're gonna use this throughout our cook to see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna quickly open this up to show you what the chicken looks like. And I'm curious myself. Oh wow, the smell off of here is just amazing. My meter app is telling me this chicken's ready. I'm gonna bring it inside to rest and then we'll come out for the taste test. But I'll show you what it looks like. Wow, the smell on here is just amazing. We got beautiful skin just basting in its own juices. You can see this down the leg. These wing tips are nice and crispy. Okay, we're gonna take this off the heat. Like I say, we'll bring it in to rest and we'll come out for the taste test. Best to have some heat resistant gloves for this. There we go. So the chicken's rested, took it out. I'm really happy with this cook. I think this is gonna be a great accessory for here for the kettle grill. It was approximately about a 40 to 45 minute cook with this chicken. Rotisserie chickens, it just bases in its own juices. I love that we cooked it over charcoal. Charcoal just gives that extra flavor. Well, I don't want to butcher this chicken up too much because we've got to feed the rest of the family. But we do have to get in here and, you know, it's all part of the job. Take my string off here. Cut my other string off. Now, slide that knife right through. There we go. Let's just cut some of the meat off here. Oh, oh wow. Mm. 
Wow, the meat's just so juicy. Mmm. Wow, is that good. See her wing there? See how crispy it is? Mmm. Just falls off the bone. Mm. Okay, we're gonna have to take a piece off this breast just to try here. Move that aside. Mmm. Okay. If you've never had a rotisserie chicken, so good. It's probably the best way to cook a chicken to retain its moisture. Mm. If you enjoyed this, I'd appreciate you smash that like button. Click subscribe. We're going to be doing more cooks with these accessories. And we'll see you next time on Barbecue with Greg. Thanks for watching Barbecue with Greg, one of those barbecue cooking shows people watch on YouTube sometimes.